Yeah, yeah end all. <laughs> end all. <laughs> Need dog in the woods. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Primitive Stone Age. Today we are going to be making bramble baskets. Oh, that's quite a sentence. Bramble baskets. I'm going to be making a bramble truck basket. And I'm going to do a bramble coil basket. Let's go and find some brambles. Don't get prickled. <laughs> we need to keep searching. Look at this amazing summer snow. Isn't it beautiful? I've got enough, enough couple of um, hazel withies here for my basket. Nice bit of hazel for my basket. There, right there. We'll have another one. Really long brambles, and uh, the less branches they have coming off them, the better. But this looks like one. It's got a few branches on it, which I can cut off with the blade, and then get close to the base of it as possible. Find it in here. Oh, the tax for cutting these is getting the prickles, getting the thorns in your hand. There we go. That's a good one. And then how we'll remove all the thorns is we can drag it through a piece of leather or we can use a fork in a tree or in a stick and pull it through that way. Or I can just use my flint blade as well. Because it's still fairly early in the season, the fawns aren't too big. Well, that was a, a kind of a win, got a bit out of that. Probably what, a two meters? Two meters is better than no meters. And what's great about these is we're gonna use the, the whole stem. We're not gonna break it open. We're not gonna take off the inner or out the outer bark. We're just gonna use the whole stem. So, starting from the thin end of your bramble and working all the way down to the thicker end, um, you want to start trying to remove the thorns and the leaves. So you can drag your piece of leather over the top which will flatten some of the prickly bits and take off all of the side stems and it doesn't matter if it does break as long as you've still got nice lengths to work with um, that's absolutely fine The beauty of wearing buckskins, they double up as part of your toolkit as well. So I'm protecting my hand from all of these thorny bits. So I've collected loads of my hazel wands, got quite a few here, and I'm just going to strip all the leaves off them and then just give them a bend on my knee so they're nice and supple when it comes to weaving them. For me, all the primitive skills or Stone Age skills, they're all 
it's all about the process gathering the natural materials the raw materials and then using them right through to make something special now what I need to do is make two hoops I'm just going to bend this one again just making sure it's all nice and supple and the great thing about this is if we break some of them we've got a pretty much solid resource of more we can go and get so I'm just going to wrap it around I'm only going to make a small basket today there's one let's see if I can bend that bit around now that keeps its shape very there you go that's one there we go with my two hoops and now what I want to do is put them in like so and then we'll bind them together with the um, bramble that I've done So to begin with, it does feel a little bit awkward. It's just snapping now, which is fine. It will go. And what you're going to ask it to do is start coiling ground. You're not going to do any stitching just yet. You're just going to get it to the start shape. And when it's got a couple of rounds, like that, you're going to put in your first stitch. So you're going to thread your needle through the centre, pull it all the way around. Don't worry about that end. That'll become tucked up in the end. And you're going to go around again in that same place, just so that that thread is a little bit more secure. I'm a bit wonky. So, there it is, thread in there. It's a very bendy bramble. And just as I've always done, you're going to go round once, around the original one and the new one. You're going to go all the way around. Putting it through. And then you don't want to go too far over for your next stitch. Just do it again. Round once, round twice, three times, and back through. And then you should be able to get back to just doing exactly what you were doing before. So far, our stem has been running alongside our spiral, side to side. And now what we want to do is just start to put this one on top so that it begins to form a bit of a wall. Now you don't need to go directly on top straight away, just off to the side is fine. But the more you pull your string tight, um, the higher up it'll, it'll go.
So I'm nearly at the end of my basket. We're at the end of May in the UK. I wonder if we left it a little bit longer that these brambles might have been a bit thick and a little bit more um, bendable. I don't even know if that's a word. If that's a word Flexible bendable. might have done that. Flexible. And the satisfaction you get from just walking into the woods, finding your bits of hazel that I had, finding my bits of bramble, and then putting them all together and spending, I don't know, this probably took about an hour and a half. Let's say two hours to construct. Um, it's very satisfying. And I know that I can improve a lot by doing different things. This is like the beginning of my basket journey. I've never really got into baskets. I've made a few here and there, um, but never really sort of focused on it. Thanks for being with me, watching me make my basket. Um, go make one yourself. Have a go. Naomi's just finishing off her basket over there. And there you have it, a finished coil basket or coil pot. Um, this one's not very big. I could go on and add more and more and more and more and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. But for now, this is big enough for my fish hooks or my bone needles or a few little bits of nuts or whatever. If you're going to share with me, you could put them in there. How many money for bowl? I don't think it's going to hold water. No, I think you should just keep your needles in there. That's great. You're going to say knickers in there. <laughs> Why, why did she run? <laughs> I'm going to keep that bin. So um, thanks for watching us make our baskets today. Please like and subscribe. Please share our videos. Um, we'd love to hear your comments below. Hope to see you in the next one. I've been Naomi. And I'm Dan. See you soon. See you soon. Back to the Stone Age. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>